How is it going, everybody? Look at this bright thing. It is blindingly bright. What we're looking at here today is a 2018 Pioneer 1000 five-seater. And this is bright. I don't even know what color they uh, call this. It's got a little bit of dust on it. It's literally straight out of the crate. Um, come in a few days ago, they put it in and gave me a holler to come up here and give y'all a video for it. So, but I like them headlights. Pioneer has really been coming a long way in the last couple of years. Good solid front bumper. LED headlights. Alright, I actually come a little prepared. I got a spec sheet. Uh, so, let's start off at the top of the spec sheet. Not anywhere in particular. Um, it is a 1000. It's a 999cc liquid cooled parallel twin four stroke. It's got uh, four valves a cylinder, which is common, you know, basic. Let's see, it's got a automatic, um, which, you know, most of these are automatic, but the cool thing is Honda put their dual clutch transmission in this. Um, it is a six speed with paddle shifters, as you can see. That is down, that is up, and it also has a high and low or sport mode which this is a <laughs> five seater side by side so I don't know how sporty it can get but there's only one way to find out unfortunately I'm not allowed to find out so I'm sorry maybe one day um let's see the front suspension is a double wishbone with ten and a half inches of travel it's got plenty of suspension movement available. Everything is tightly packed up in there. Um, the rear is also a double wishbone um, with 10 inches of travel. So not quite as much travel in the rear. But you know these ones aren't really meant to compete with like razors or anything like that these are more for uh, doing work around the farm and stuff like that the hitch you see right there um, this does have a towing capacity of 2,000 pounds so it's not bad um, the bed has a payload capacity of a thousand pounds and I'm pretty sure that's about as much as my Ford Ranger can handle. I'd be scared to put 2,000 pounds behind my Ranger. Let's see. Um, the front brakes obviously are going to be a cross-drilled hydraulic. And I don't know if you can see through there. You can see the cross-drilling on the brakes. Uh, and they have two 210 millimeter discs. The tires on the front are Maxxis Bighorns. They are 27 by 9 14s. And the rear are Maxxis Bighorns, 27 by 11 14s. Um, it's also worth noting that this has a four-wheel drive um, with a diff lock, a regular standard four-wheel drive, a two-wheel drive, and a turf mode. And from my understanding, the turf mode is basically there to keep you from ripping up the grass or anything like that if you're doing like service work or something like that, which is really nice. 
Um, let's see. The maximum ground clearance that this thing has is uh, 12 and a half inches. So you got over a foot, just over a foot of ground clearance. That's not bad. Um, it holds just under 8 gallons. They say it holds 7.9 or something like that, so, which is not bad. I'm pretty sure you fuel up on the other side here. Huh. Probably should have found out where you put the fuel before I started the video, huh? Yes, I was right. Right there. <laughs> That being said, the doors on this thing open really easy, which of course they do, it's it's new, but... Oh, uh, let's see, coming, continuing down, um, it's got a curb weight of 1,689 pounds, so it is a little bit of a porker, I apologize, we got a semi coming through so it might get a little noisy. Let's see... The Deluxe Yellow is what they are calling this. Huh, that's interesting. And I think that's about as far as my spec sheet goes, so I will tell you the rest. Um, you've got two cup holders up front, right here, and one over on the other side, so they're not trying to murder you with cup holders. you got plenty of room, the seats are comfortable. Um, my personal experience, um, these have one of the smoothest shifting automatic transmissions in a side-by-side -side that I have ever driven. They are so smooth, it is like driving butter. They're very nice. Um, of course you got your window netting, which I'm sure you all have noticed that. It comes in the front and the rear. Uh, this is actually so new it still has some of the... the anti-scratch wrapping and stuff on it keep it from getting beat up and shipping um in the back you see we have the bed okay down low right here is the handle to open the door and it opened very easily and on the inside of the door here you've got this panel okay now it's worth noting whenever you fold the seats back down you need to fold the seats down with the doors open, even though the latch is, well, I'll show you that in a minute. But just remember that because this little piece right here is one of the parts that actually help hold this backrest down. It'll come over at about that far. So just in case y'all didn't know that, let me pick this up and it'll lock in right there. And the backrest is actually retained right there. If I can do this one-handed, folds down. And then your seat belts actually are spring-loaded. They will retract back. You can actually see the little spring part right there. But uh, and then from that point, you can climb right in, set a spell. And you've got a little bit of leg room. Not a whole lot, but it's functional and it works. And the side, the other side folds up just the same way. You've got seat belts that fold down from up here. They actually have a hook they can sit on. And it's a uh, two belt system, okay? put this first one over here like this this threw me for a loop the first time I got in it put your first one in right here and then you bring the second one up like this and over and it will connect to the other one but I'm sitting on it so and that makes you a three-point seat belt I thought that was pretty interesting And when you're done, you can hang them both up over here, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. Wow. 
But yeah, so that's pretty neat. You click the first one here, and then you come over here, and you click second. And when you're done, you can, uh... okay, I got it stuck. There we go. It actually sits down in there. Pick it up, this little loop right here will reattach right there. And then on the back side here, you've got a little lever that sits right here, okay? Just click that up, it'll undo the thing, lean it forward, and you can literally let go because it's strut operated, so it'll lay down nice and quiet and slow. Remember that part on the door I told you about this piece? Right here is the edge. See how it helps retain the bottom? Figured I'd let y'all know that. Um, and another feature that this has, you can reach where the driver's seat is or the passenger seat because there's a spot on both this little rod right here. Simply pick up on it and it also has a tilt bed. So that's pretty cool. And it gives you access to some of the stuff under here. You can pull those other panels off and access the motor and your maintenance things. And unlike some side-by-sides that are a royal bear to bring back down, I'm literally using next to no effort and it locks right back into place. So that's nice. Um, the tailgate right here do it one-handed here opens up pretty easy folds out you got quite a bit of storage um, one thing I thought was pretty neat was whenever you go to put the tailgate back up instead of having to fudge with these things that are always floppity and everything they have a little bit of spring tension on them so they latch themselves so that's another little simple good point that Honda put on there. And uh, I believe that about wraps it up. It's got a fairly simple instrumentation. Um, we'll kick the key over so you guys can see the mileage. I'll let you hear it run. Hello, Honda. Three miles. Don't know if it'll start without me in the seat. It did. It's very quiet. Um, and Honda's also touting this thing as being a very low emission vehicle, which is I, I think is pretty cool. But oh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. Under the hood here, I rarely ever look under here because. Normally it's just like your brake reservoir for the front and stuff like that. It ain't really anything too awful interesting, okay? Here, you have your access to the coolant, your radiator, battery, fuses, a few other little odd and end things, okay? I'm going to lay this up here real quick. I actually took this strap off whenever I got out here because it's kind of hard to do one-handed. Okay, but this little container right here, I seen it and I was like, man, what the, what, what is that for? So I opened it, and I might have closed it a little too hard. Hang on, let me try to get this open. There we go. Maybe. Come on, you can do it. You know how hard this is one-handed? There. It actually comes with a little toolkit. So, that's a neat thing to have. I would imagine it would come in handy at the most inopportune time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this loose so I can put that strap back on there. And then when you put that lid back on, you just push these little knobs down in the holes, rotate it, close it off, and it's secure. But there you have it, folks.
That would be a 2018 Honda Pioneer 5-seater 1000. Um, it's worth noting that PioneerMotorcycles.com let me get this and show it to you guys today. Um, do us a huge favor. Check them out if you're interested in it because it is for sale. And uh, let them know where you, you saw the video. Um, there will be more detailed pictures on the website. You can get a hold of them. Uh, Jeff is one of the owners and he is a down to earth awesome guy to work with. So, and they will do whatever they need to do to, to get you what you got to have. And uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, help us out a little bit. And uh, I think I'm going to take this bad boy back up front. Y'all have a good day.